Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is PJ and I'm a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can connect to SharePoint online site using PNP PowerShell. If you are new to a PNP, then PNP stands for Pattern and Practices, which contains various PowerShell commands as a library known as PNP PowerShell. And we can use these commands to perform complex actions in, in SharePoint. Now we have a PowerShell where we can use it, but if you are using PNP PowerShell, then you can do more things with less commands or less code. So not only uh, this PNP on in case of PowerShell, also we have PNP we are using with CSAM as well. Now for this particular behind the scene also, or your PNP PowerShell uses CSUM or your client side object model code. And uh, we will see here how we can install PNP PowerShell, how we can, what are the commands that we can use uh, for uh, PNP installation, PNP PowerShell installation in SharePoint 2013, 2016, 2019 as well, if you are working with on premises versions. Now, there are various commands are available on this. Uh, if you want to install on SharePoint online, then the command is install hyphen module SharePoint PNP PowerShell online. And if you want to install for SharePoint 2013, then you can see here instead of online, you can just put 2013, 2016 and 2019 according to the version that you want to install. The same way, this is pretty simple command to update and uninstall as well. So if you'll see here, there's update hyphen module and then SharePoint PNP PowerShell Online. If you want to update for 2013, then you can use just 2013, 2016, or 2019. The same command is also for uninstall. So you can just use uninstall hyphen module SharePoint PNP PowerShell dot online. Now, without further delay, what we will do first is we will install the command and I will open my PowerShell. So I will open uh, PowerShell. You can uh, Oops, I'll open in administrator mode basically. So Windows PowerShell and you can see here run as administrator. Just click on yes. Now it is running in the admin mode and then we can run the command which we can use to install uh, PowerShell, PNP PowerShell in for to connect with our SharePoint online. So I will just copy the command. I already shown you how we can do that. I will just copy this command so that I don't need to type it. Uh, and then I will put it here. Now, once you click on uh, or once you click on enter, then actually it will install and uh, then it will uh, show us that we are trying to install from a uh, untrusted repository. So you can just put a so it will it means for yes to all that means we are trusting it and we are ready to go ahead. So once you do that, then uh, it will take some time then install it. Now the same way you can as I saw, as I saw new in the uh, the commands in the PPT. So you if you are working with on premises version, then you have the same commands. Uh, you can use the same commands for uh, uh, your on premises version. Only thing is the version number is what is difference. And uh, once it is installed, you can see here it is installed successfully. You can actually check uh, uh, the uh, online version which is uh, which is available or which is installed. So I have the command here. I will just copy this command and uh, you can also just write get hyphen module and then SharePoint online list available. It will show you the command here. You can see now the SharePoint PNP PowerShell online and this is the version number that it is showing. So now we will see how to connect to a SharePoint site before going to that. Uh, if you are interested for SharePoint training, then I have various SharePoint training courses. You can have a look at this. I'll put the URL in the uh, video description. You can have a look at this. And if you are interested, then you can send me an email regarding the price as well. So now I will open this. Uh, you can see here we open this. Uh, what we will uh, do here is we will try to connect to a SharePoint online site and the command is connect hyphen PNP online. Then you will provide the URL. So in this case, this is my site URL and then you can put the credential. So hyphen credential and then great credential. It will actually ask you 
for the credential. So I'll just copy this command. So the command to connect to SharePoint online site is connect hyphen PNP online and then you can provide the site URL. So uh, here you can uh, directly provide any uh, site URL, not necessarily it will be uh, the admin center site. So you can provide any site URL. So I will just put my uh, credential here. So you can see here and uh, let me just put it now once you click on ok so it will connect if you have if you have provided the credential correctly then it will connect to the site you can see here the the site here is serpent sky and on this site basically we we will be able to retrieve details from uh, from uh, from the um, uh, from the site so for example i want to retrieve all the list uh, or libraries which are present uh, so i can run the command the command is get hyphen pnp a list so simple command so if you we'll run it it will give you the list title uh, in fact list library both the things so when you talk about list it is both list and libraries then the id and then the url as well so you can see here uh, how we can connect to a sharepoint online site and then um, uh, we retrieve on the list details as well sorry list uh, all the list uh, details as well so there are a lot of commands we will see some videos later also and uh, for this video i wanted to show you this the commands or uh, for the script you can i have an article I, I wrote a blog post on that i posted on the sharepoint sky site and i will put the url also here so you can have a look at this i will put in the video description uh, the url so you can have a look at this for uh, uh, for uh, the uh, for the scripts which i have used in this uh, in this uh, uh, demo now uh, if you are interested for the videos then kindly subscribe to our youtube channel uh, you will get a lot of uh, free videos on uh, sharepoint office 365 uh, azure all these things you will get these are our website keep visiting our websites and then uh, this is uh, our twitter handles to follow linkedin you can follow us and then the pages you can like us you'll, you'll get a lot of updates on various videos and tutorials thank you and have a nice day